It's story time. Pocahontas Once in ancient times, there lived an adventurous young princess whose name was Pocahontas. She loved running free through the land she called home. Pocahontas and her best friend Nakoma spent many hours exploring their land. They would float down the river in their canoe, amazed of the untouched beauty around them. Pocahontas would even leap from the peak of a tall waterfall. She was not scared at all. The princess was a free spirit always looking for an adventure. Whenever she found herself troubled, Pocahontas would consult a mystic tree named Grandmother Willow. All around you are spirits, child, the wise tree would say. They live in the earth, the water, the sky. If you listen, they will guide you. Pocahontas looked out over the tops of trees when she saw these blowing white clouds. The strange thing was that these clouds were unlike any she had seen before. They were actually the sails of a large wooden ship. Pocahontas was confused. She watched from afar as this ship, with its many strangers, came to the shore. The men aboard were settlers on a hunt for gold, and they believed that they could take over this new land for themselves. Anyhow, one of the men, John Smith, seemed a very kind and gentle man. Pocahontas was intrigued and decided to follow him through the forest. Suddenly, John Smith spotted her. Although Pocahontas knew very well that she should be cautious with strangers, she decided to step forward. And as the two came together, a magical breeze swirled around them. Even though they spoke two different languages, now they could suddenly understand each other's language. Even though they were very different, Pocahontas and John became friends. They started exploring the land and Pocahontas showed him what Grandmother Willow had taught her. Things in nature are connected. They are all one. When Pocahontas introduced John to Grandmother Willow, he was very surprised. The Great Spirit told Pocahontas that John had a good soul. He was a man she could trust. Nevertheless, tensions were raising between Pocahontas' tribe and the settlers from John's ship. Neither group trusted the other. Pocahontas tried to encourage her father to talk to the strangers, but the chief wouldn't listen. One night, John met Pocahontas in Grandmother's Willow Glade because he wanted to protect her and her people. Feelings were growing between them. In a moment, the two kissed. They had fallen in love. But as they were holding in each other's arms, warriors came from Pocahontas' tribe and captured John. His future was uncertain. 
Pocahontas visit him later in secret. No matter what happens, John Smith said, I'll be always with you, forever. The next day, as the tribe prepared for war with the settlers, Pocahontas bravely stepped forward to tell her father that she loved John Smith. Hurting John would only mean more war, so the chief listened to his daughter and freed John. But John was injured, so he had to return home. Even though Pocahontas wanted to go with him, she knew that her tribe needed her and decided to stay. I'll always be with you, forever, Pocahontas said as she kissed him goodbye. To support us, please subscribe to Storytime.